Hello everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I'm going to show you how you can upload a PDF to DocuSign and send it for signatures. This is a great example for when you have a seller and you've received an offer from a buyer and you are ready to accept that offer and sign it and execute it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we will get started. First thing you need to do is log into DocuSign. And once you're in DocuSign, go to Rooms. Once you're in the right room, you're going to make sure that you have your PDF of the one to four family or whatever document you need to upload as a PDF to send for signatures from your client, okay? So I've already got that downloaded over here from the email that I received from the buyer's agent, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go up to add the blue plus sign at the top right. And I'm gonna click from computer. Now I just downloaded it, so I know it's in my downloads, depending what type of computer you're on and also where you downloaded it, et cetera. It may be in a different folder than downloads. So just double check that when you download it and save it to your computer. I know this is the right one though, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So once you have done that, you're going to click the little circle at the top left of the document, and you'll see this little menu pop up. You're going to click on the pin, which is create envelope. That's going to open up the envelope where you can scroll down and add the recipient of who you're gonna send this to. Now, in my example, I would send it to the sellers, okay? So I'm going to click add recipient room participant. And then I'm going to find my seller. Let's just pretend that this is right here, the correct one. Let's just pretend that seller one. Okay. I've added it and add selected. You'll see once again, it's got my name for seller one and the email address. If for some reason you don't have the email address, populating here, not to worry. Let's pretend that wasn't there. You would just go here and type it in, okay? And vice versa with, with the name. If you had an email address, but not a name, you can also add the name right there if it was blank. Once you have your um, party or recipient added to the envelope, you can type your email subject and message here. Hello, please sign and uh, blah, 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 whatever you want to say. Thank you. Have a great day. Once you've done that, we're going to go up to the yellow next. Once you get here, this is the spot that you're actually going to drag and drop any signatures. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down to any spot that needs the seller's initials. Now pretend, bear with me, pretend that this is all filled out and complete and initial by the buyer. Okay. So you'll see the name of the seller up here in yellow. And that means any of these fields are attached to that seller's um, you know, profile, basically. So anything that you put here is for that seller. If you have more than one seller, you can click this drop down and it would have another person's name here. And it would probably be the blue color. So you can toggle between, all right? So in this example, I only have one. I'm gonna click on initial, drag it over here. And we're just gonna keep going through it, adding all the spots needed. All right. And let's just pretend that we needed, um, I just wanna show you all how to add a text box if you need to, for any reason, you can click text, drag it over. Let's just pretend this is the right spot. You can resize it. You double click in here to add any verbiage in here. You know, whatever you want to say. Um, that's how you would add text to it. Then at the very bottom here to add the signature, we would just go to signature right here. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Signature, drag it over, etc. Once you are done with that, let's just pretend I've got everything um, correct here. We're gonna click send. That's going to email to your clients and you'll see in my email that it has came to me. I can click it 
And this is how your client would see it. They can click review document and then it will prompt them to sign the document. So now I can click continue. Once again, this is the client's view once you've sent it. I click start and just start clicking initial for everything. It confirms that's the text you want. I'm just gonna leave that, sign, and I'm finished. So now on your end as the agent, after the client, your client, which is my seller in this example, has signed it, okay? I can go back to my rooms. So now that it has been signed, you will see it in here with the green check mark, one to four family residential contract, the green signed one. This is the one that we just signed, okay? So it's been signed by all parties, for example, and we are ready to go. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. Have a great day.